Prince Harry's biographer has said the Duke of Sussex is unrecognizable compared to the man she knew from when she spent time with him to write his biography. Speaking to GB News on Monday, royal family expert Angela Levin, who wrote Harry, Conversations with the Prince in 2018, suggested how Prince Harry has changed from someone who was charismatic and intuitive to being bitter, angry and hard done by. GB News anchor Raymond Holmes asked the royal expert whether the Prince Harry you knew then and the one she knows now are two different people. Ms. Levin replied, unrecognizable. She explained, I spent over a year with Prince Harry, he was charismatic, he was intuitive like his mother, brilliant with people who had been amazed physically or mentally, very funny. There was the occasional dark cloud that came over him, you could see that he had difficulties in his life but he was terrific, I really enjoyed every minute I spent with him. But Ms. Levin suggested that Prince Harry is a thing of the past as she reeled off a raft of very different character traits. She claimed, now he is bitter, he is angry, he feels hard done by, which is astonishing for somebody who is living in a million-pound house with 16 toilet. And he feels he has got to have to revenge, that is the real world and that is what is so terrible. He wants revenge on the royal family for how they have treated him and his mother. Ms. Levin went on to claim how Prince Harry could also attack his family left right and center in his upcoming memoirs due out later this year. She suggested Prince Harry has also changed what he feels about his father following what she called a very moving conversation when he guest edited Radio 4's Today program in December 2017. Ms. Levin said, I remember when Prince Harry was the guest editor on the Today program, he could have several people along who he wanted to talk to about various issues he cared about. He also chose to have his father there and it was the most moving conversation you could imagine, where he apologized for being rude about him how he realized as he got older how wonderful he was. It was very warming, and now suddenly he is a monster, he just doesn't like his father and does anything to upset him. Last week Prince Harry appeared on a live stream hosted by BetterUp, the mental health company he works as chief impact officer for, telling viewers I know that I need to meditate every single day and that he experienced burnout in life. He went on to offer advice saying that to help his mental health, he focuses on working out, taking the dog for a walk and getting out in nature. The prince added, I think people are going to need to rely on each other and on professional help, but also not just professional help. Also friends, family, maybe complete strangers. Anyone can actually help you in that coaching process. His before Meghan life was the happiest time of the Prince. The happiest times in my life were the 10 years in the army, without question, Prince Harry divulged on Apple TV Plus series, The Me You Can't See. He said, because I got to wear the same uniform as everybody else. I had to do all the same training as everybody else. I started from the bottom up like everybody else. Harry said, the best thing about that is being able to fit in as just a normal person. But the prince life got shaken up hard with Meghan Markle, especially the time they moved to the US. It's obvious everything downhill when he came to the US, the Duke is very exhausted, and it allegedly shows with the way he looks and how he carries himself. Most of his connection to his family likely taken away, event his trait as a person. People obviously can see the changes. And make a comparison between the US Harry and the Prince Harry. Everything he's touched in his life turned into a mess. Also, ID has been reports that Prince Harry and Markle fighting and having a terrible time in New York City came only a few days ago from in touch. According to the tabloid, when the couple was in public, they were all smiles. However, when Prince Harry and Markle were alone, things got nasty. An insider leaked that behind closed doors, they were miserable. So what was causing all the fighting? The tabloid noted that before their appearance at Global Citizen Live, the duo couldn't agree on Lilibet's christening. Harry and Meghan got into an explosive argument about Lilibet being christened in London, the royal source said. What started off as a normal conversation quickly spiraled into the nastiest fight they've ever had, the insider revealed. Ms. Mollard continued, it was in the back of a plane as he saw injured soldiers coming back that he had the idea for Invictus. So yes. I think this is this correlates with his purpose. It's close to his heart. And I think look, if you take that way away from the guy, you've taken him out of the family, you take him away from that kind of military connection. You don't have much left, that's a really honorable part of his innate purpose and part of his identity. 